I'm Rardan. Uh, I'm a senior student in uh, Boğaziçi University Computer Engineering Department. Uh, my graduation project is uh, on uh, the topic of alternating finite automata, as you can see here. Uh, my mission is here uh, to give an insight into alternation concepts uh, with uh, the knowledge of finite automata. Um, in this project, I thoroughly analyzed three different uh, definitions given in the years between 19, eight, uh, 1976 and 1981. Uh, those three definitions are uh, not actually <laughs> very different from each other and I analyzed them uh, one by one. So, uh, for, uh, for convenience, uh, I named them AFA1, AFA2 and AFA3. Uh, one can uh, see the references to make additional points, which, what, what is AFA1, what is AFA2. So AFA1 is a five-tuple, a mathematical object. Um, it consists of a set of uh, finite set of states and input alphabets, uh, a start state, and final state, or accepting states, as you may know in, if you know finite automata concepts, and a transition function. A transition function uh, is a function, uh, a strange-looking function, it's from a set of states Q, to another function, uh, and it's uh, as a boolean tuple and an input uh, symbol to a boolean value here. Uh, so the boolean uh, tuple, k tuple, is coming from actually the states of uh, a property of the final set of states. If it's uh, as final state, it's one. If it's not, it's zero. Uh, and I uh, proved in the in my project that AFA one is equivalent to DFA. I first proved that AFA one is uh, every AFA one has an equivalent uh, DFA, and then I proved that every DFA has an equivalent AFA one. So then in AFA two, uh, I provided another information. So uh, it's it's a five tuple again. And it consists of a set of states, an input alphabet, the final set of states, a start state, and again, it's a transition function. But now, the transition function here is from the set of a state and uh, a symbol to uh, power set of power set of the states. Uh, and I proved that uh, AFA2 is equal to DFA by proving first as AFA1. It's and every AFA2 has an equivalent DFA, and then every DFA has an equivalent uh, AFA2. Uh, so, we can move on to AFA3. It's a six tuple, as we can see here. Uh, addition, an additional uh, definition here is required. Uh, in six tuple, there are uh, universal states, uh, which belongs to uh, which is a subset of states or states. And uh, existential states, uh, universal and existential, have uh, very special meanings here. And at the end, and at the end of the project, I uh, gave uh, a debate concept to, uh, which uses uh, AFA3 definition in its uh, definition. And I gave some examples about AFA1 concepts and showed the power of its uh, transition functions. Transition function. Um, so that's all for me. Thank you for your consideration. Uh, that's all. One back home, you catch the cold. One back home.